Hello, everybody. I want to wish you a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays for everyone that celebrates something else um, or have a different calendar. Uh, thank, thank you so very much for the year that just went by uh, and all your beautiful, beautiful and amazing support. I hope 2018 will be an easier year for us all. Uh, maybe it won't, <laughs> but uh, at least with all these new skills that we have learned during the past year, we will make it through uh, and take on whatever comes along. Uh, I also want to take the chance to tell you here that the Sun moves from Sagittarius to Capricorn on the 21st of December. Mars is in Scorpio, conjunct with Jupiter. Uh, Venus moved from Sagittarius to Capricorn the 25th of December, which will mean order and organization in your relationship after fun and celebration. Uh, we also have both Pluto and Saturn in Capricorn, which is going to have an impact on your relationship with great many endings and no more toleration for any bullshit or lies. Uh, unstable relationships have a great risk of ending. Uh, January 2nd, we will have a powerful uh, super full moon in Cancer, opposing Pluto, Venus and of course uh, the Sun. Mercury is moving direct in Sagittarius. Uh, which is very lucky for communication and travels. Um, unfortunately, it will have a stubborn triangulation to Uranus in Aries. Uh, Uranus is kind of the hangman scenario, uh, and on top of that, Uranus has been moving retrograde in Aries for quite some time. But it stations in Aries uh, January 3rd and on, will slowly start moving direct, uh, letting loose all the hangman scenarios and waitings that have been blocking you. Uh, the 11th of January, Mercury moves into Capricorn, helping you to communicate the bullshit and lies you have been experiencing. And the 17th of January, we will have the new moon on the cusp of Capricorn and Aquarius. Moon is lining up with the Sun and Venus, uh, and Venus moves from Capricorn to Aquarius the same day, making room for new healthy beginnings in your relationships. Three days later, um, January 20, uh, Sun moves into Aquarius. Um, this is the shift. Uh, the 26th of January, Mars is moving from its masculine deep water diving in matters of the heart uh, that they did with Mars in Scorpio uh, to its more elementary aligned uh, Sagittarius, the Spire. Uh, that will mean that your masculine side might start to be able to reveal what it has uh, found out to be true about the heart's longing when Mars were in Scorpio. January uh, 31st, we will have super full blue moon in Leo. It's the second full moon in the same month that will also come together with a total lunar eclipse. Wow, yes. <laughs> this being visible from uh, Western North America, uh, the Pacific Ocean, Australia, and Eastern Asia. Uh, so it's kind of the repeating of the energies that we had in the eclipse season uh, in Leo uh, back in August. Uh, so I was uh, wanting to tell you this as a pre-thing um, pre to my reading, so I don't have to repeat myself and make also the readings shorter. So for the one that wants to see the... Uh, astrological side of things and understand more why the uh, the certain tarot cards comes out this is a, a great opportunity and for those that just wants to skip to the reading uh, this will also be great so uh, thank you so much for watching and a really truly happy new 2018 whatever comes along uh, I listened to Kai Pasha Letcher's Paley report and he said that the year of 2018 is going to be uh, the year of the alchemist so that's the temperance card number 14 when you meet uh, your shadow and they play so well together you know I have told you this so many times you're supposed to take in like Mars are supposed to take in Venus uh, energy Mars is supposed to become uh, like with a heart and Venus are supposed to have boundaries be able to have boundaries uh, and when you both have um, this is just example of course Mars and Venus being extremes uh, but it's everything underneath the Sun or <laughs> above the Sun as well uh, so whatever kind of uh, shadow you have, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be Venus or Mars, like the masculine and the feminine. It might be uh, whatever. But I take kind of the same example to make you 
uh, understand what's what it's all about. So first you were all about Mars, you could uh, put rules, you could have regulations, you could tell people where your boundaries are, and now you have a heart as well. You can show vulnerability and, and show other people your emotions, and thereby being able to have committed love relationships and come closer in any kind of relationships, also working relationships. And for Venus, uh, it's about not only having this unconditional love, being able to give it all away, but also being able to keep it for yourself or keep it uh, when a situation requires so. Being able to put up boundaries uh, so you don't have to be a doormat. And it doesn't apply to feminine and masculine people. It's applying to people that have a heart contra people that have boundaries. And these are going to be uh, able to be expanded uh, so you will be able to have both. So this is the one that's making all the fuss in all my videos. So she's amazing. She's half Maine Coon and half uh, Norwegian forest cat. Say hi to the audience. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so she's she's a really lovely cat with a very very nice temper. Maine Coon, I can. And a Norwegian forest cat I have had before, but Maine Coon, this was the first time, and she's really amazing. So if you like cats, that's the one to get. <laughs> so uh, I hope um, uh, you will have, like I said, a uh, merry, merry Christmas and a happy new year. Okay, bye-bye.